Hi friends, welcome back. I hope you're all doing super well and happy Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. And today I have three costume ideas I wanted to share with you. The first one is an experiment, but the other two I've worn before. They're easy and they're fun to do. Uh, one has some body paint and horns and the other has buttons. They're both really easy to do in a pinch, which is great if you love Halloween, but sometimes kind of forget costumes until the last minute. So this year I have some ones to show you. Um, the first one is pumpkin head. So I'm hoping this pumpkin will fit on my head. I I haven't measured it yet, but I think I think it'll work. So the plan is to measure and then cut out the bottom bit and then just slide it right on. If that doesn't work, we're gonna cut kind of an L shape and use it more as a mask. Then I'm gonna take a needle and make some little punctures so I can see out of it and then paint it like a jack-o'-lantern. If you don't want to do that, you could just cut it and then wear it as its beautiful pumpkin self and be maybe a pumpkin patch so you could carry around a pumpkin and then you know, have like your friends wear these as well and be an actual pumpkin patch. Um, or you could just wear it with like normal clothes and a scarf. So I'm hoping it's a really easy one once it's done to just put on and go and you can wear it for years to come and just be the pumpkin head person. <laughs> so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna measure and cut and hopefully this works. Okay, after a slight jog around my house, I found a measuring tape. Um, let's see here, you are inches. Okay, I'm just gonna measure my head so I kind of get a rough idea. Um, I'm gonna have to cut kind of higher up on the pumpkin than I'd want to typically but I already knew that going in because um, my pumpkin's not one of the massive pumpkins because those ones even half off were pretty pricey so I got the $15 option hopefully it works um, so let's just see do you think I have like a medium sized head? I'm not totally sure let's see. 22 inches is that normal? I do not know. <laughs> um, okay. So, bear with me, art student stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like this and measure a little buddy. Hold on. Gonna balance on my leg. Okay. So, I'm just guesstimating, honestly. That's kind of how I do a lot of my art projects. Okay, cool. So, it looks like, like so, right? So basically just the whole bottom section right before the curve starts. Um, I don't know if you can see. So basically where this curve is happening right here, I'm going to cut a little bit before that and hopefully it'll work. So I have my trusty knife. I'm going to be very careful, I promise, and I'm going to cut this out and then we'll see if it fits. We're going to go ahead and carve into the pumpkin. Right away it feels a little bit more squishy than I expected and I noticed that the top doesn't come off so I went ahead and just cut in a pie slice to make sure that it was in fact hollow and lo and behold it's not. I went ahead and just peeled up some of the outer shell and realized there was all foam inside so now that I've been betrayed we have to look at another pumpkin. Okay I'm here in the Michaels parking lot at like 8.30 at night and it looks really closed. So we're gonna see if they're open. Fingers crossed. Look at all the sale Halloween stuff. Oh, it's all so tempting. I didn't have as many pumpkins as I was hoping for, but I still found a nice big one that should fit my head, so I'm going to go home and carve it up. Using my phone light so you can see me, um, but success, we got a pumpkin, I think it'll fit, and if not, we'll go with uh, plan number three, plan C, <laughs> so we'll see, um, but I think it's going to work. I'm going to try to find some food, because it's a little bit late and I don't really want to cook anymore. So I'm going to find some grub and then go cut up a pumpkin. 
Okay, I think we had a successful adventure. I have delicious chicken. I've never gone here before, um, but the lady I was checking out said that she liked my makeup, which was very sweet. And they have kimchi and seaweed salad on the menu, so I have high expectations. We also, most importantly, got the pumpkin. It seems like it'll fit. It's a little bit taller than I wanted. I wanted kind of more like a round um, squat pumpkin. But this will still work. It'll still be Halloween. Um, and this one I have confirmed is hollow. It's a carvable pumpkin, a craft pumpkin. Um, I didn't look for that last time. I just assumed since it was light and didn't feel like it had like any of the weighted beads in it, that the last pumpkin I got would be hollow. But it was in fact foam, as we saw. So I think um, you should check to see that the, the shell is pretty hard. It's not squishy at all. I think that's a good indicator, and also if it says craft or carvable, you should be good to go. I have lesson learned, so don't be betrayed like it was. So I'm going to go get some chicken, and then start carving, and hopefully it turns out. So I'm going to measure one more time, just to know how far up the pumpkin we need to cut. Then with my trusty knife, I'm going to go ahead and just cut at the bottom. I left sort of a lip in the front, that way it covered more of my neck, and then cut out the back a little bit more, making it easier to put on and off, just like this. And then I'm going to try it on, and I can see through the pumpkin just enough to see the shadows of my fingers. So I'm going to mark out where to put my eyes, and my nose, and my mouth. That way everything lines up nicely. Then I went ahead and just drew in the basic features and I started to poke out small holes for the eyes but it ended up not being the best plan. I had to poke a lot more holes than I expected and it just looked not super great. So as I did instead, it might be better to just cut them out, some of these cute little heart shapes. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of paint just to make it pop a bit more and look a little bit more finished. And ta-da! And here's the finished costume! I'm wearing some black tights on my face so you can't really see through the pumpkin, but we're all done! And now we're going to move on to our next costume. So we're going to use some buttons and make a scarecrow. I've done this one a couple of times and it's one of my favorites. It's really easy and simple, so you can just kind of throw it on the morning, um, Halloween day if you want to. So I'm going to start, I have this palette here, and um, I'm not a makeup artist at all. I kind of just mix it up as I go, um, like most things, but I thought we could try this on camera and see how it works out. I'm also on my lunch break from work, so this is an extra test of speed. So okay, I have my mirror here. So I'm just going to go and make one line down my nose like that, on the other line like that. Looks kind of pretty centered. And then one across, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with this kind of burnt orange color. I really like doing um, scarecrows because you make them cute or spooky. Kind of in general, scarecrows are a little cute and spooky, so I think it's a character that can lend itself both ways, which I like. Okay, so I'm gonna fill that in a little bit more, like that, and then I'm gonna take um, some of the kind of gold shimmery color I have. It's called Mrs. Potts right here, and I'm gonna use my finger. Just gonna dab that on in the center. Yeah, like that. Um, so I should probably zoom you in. Hold on. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, I think it needs a little bit more depth, so I'm going to go in with kind of a shimmery champagne color and just go kind of around the edge. And I'm going to blend everything together. Of my mirror here. Okay, so I want it to be nice and shiny autumn nose. 
Yeah, like that. Um, I'm gonna take my very thin little brush here and some of this darker red color called Gaston. Just like his shirt. Um, can we go around the edge one more time? So this way, oops, you can these. Luckily, it's makeup, so it's fixable. <laughs> I'm gonna go around and just kind of sharpen it up a little bit. Okay, our nose. So next, I have some liquid eyeliner, and then just draw carefully, holding my breath the entire time. <laughs> I'm gonna draw around the little triangle we have there, and then just draw a couple of stitches. So hopefully this works. Like that. Now our stitches. Um, I'm doing a little bit more. <laughs> I've never done um, makeup things in front of anybody else before, so this is all exciting. So, okay. So I'm gonna draw a stitch right here. Just like a little line like that. I'm gonna do one next to it. So I'm gonna do some kind of clusters, like some close and some a little bit farther apart. Like whoever was sewing up on the scarecrow is in a bit of a rush because I think it's kind of just fun. Okay, look at that. So, let me get closer. You can see I have some stitches around and it's nice and shiny. So, next, I'm gonna do my mouth. Um, for that, I'm gonna go in with that same um, nutmeg color and just kind of draw my lips. I do want to put some foundation on everything else. So you're just going to see kind of a heart-shaped lip in the center. And then we're going to draw more stitches and kind of smile going out like this. Use a, a CC cream, so nothing too heavy. You can use whatever you have, whatever you want to use. Um, concealer would work too. And then, once I get some little sponge here, I'm just going to go And put it over my lips. Um, just so I can draw in my own shape. So I'm going to take a little brush with some of that same nutmeg on it and then draw the shape I want. So all I have to do is draw an X on my top lip and use that to make kind of a heart shape. So let's see. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna swoop it around. Okay, rough shape, right? And then see on the bottom lip, kind of just swoop it. It goes semicircle. Or like you're making a little heart on your lips. Okay, like that. So it's almost like a Harlequin or a Red Queen. Um, I think this lip is actually from the 1920s. I think some of the like um, silent movie actresses wore a lip like this pretty often. Like a Clara Bow, I think was like a pretty famous one. So I think it's kind of fun. Um, you could try it for every day. Like why not, right? Okay, go shape your lake. Um, darken it a little bit. Okay. So I think I might add a tiny bit of red, um, just have this like lip butter, I believe it's called. I'm going to dab a little bit of that on there, um, so it's not too matchy, because this is the same color we used on my nose. So just add in a bit of different interest. So putting this right in the center. I think it's working. It looks kind of like um, Uncanny Valley, it's like a little bit not quite human, right? which is always fun for Halloween. Okay, now we have our trusty eyeliner. And this is the tricky part. We're going to draw lines um, extending up like this. Yeah, that works. <laughs> and then the same thing. We're going to do stitches. Okay, and then last for the face makeup is blush. Um, 
You can also do freckles, which might be kind of fun. Um, we can do a couple actually. Um, let's see here. You can use the same brush as before. And dip it in a dark brown. This one's called Quasimodo. It's um, this color right here. I'm just going to do a few over my like, cheek area. So I'm going to do like a few tiny ones with the corner of the brush, so like the, the pointiest end. I'm going to go in and just do little, little dabs, little freckle dots. I get freckles in the summer, so I'm kind of just going over um, where I can see I already have some. But you don't really want to do any pattern, kind of just go all over. Okay. Then we stop right here, so I'm going to add blush to my apples. Um, for that and take so what is this one this is um, buxom and the color is wonderlust or wanderlust and take a lot of it because we want to look a little cartoony right so we have a ton I'm gonna go and just put it on um, kind of like little circles like so I'm tying it under my nose and on my chin Just like that. Okay, the last step is we're gonna make my eyebrows green. Um, I'm gonna wear a green wig with this. You could keep your natural eyebrows if you want to keep your natural hair, but I want to go a little bit extra. So we're gonna take um, this uh, NYX Vivid Brights, just like an eyeliner. So it's a green eyeliner. So it has a little tiny, tiny, tiny brush like this. So this part kind of just painted on. Um, my eyebrow hair is kind of like thicker, I guess. So this works for me. Um, you can also just draw like actually on your kind of forehead skin um, if you want to do that too. So let's see. So I'm just using like the side of the like applicator brush, and I'm just painting it on, just following my natural hair. And you could draw on like a few like little extra ones if you wanted. Like in the middle. I'm gonna do my other eye, and then all we have to do is add in um, the buttons, and we should be good. Let me think. So now is the moment of truth. We'll see if these stick. They've been drying for about five minutes, I think. They're a little bit wet still, but they seem um, tacky, which is what you want. So, let's do them both at once. Let's try it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick and hold them. Um, I like to hold them for at least 30 seconds. You could do a minute. So we're gonna see if they will stay. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. I'm gonna do a little bit longer. And then we should be ready. <laughs> Ta-da! They stick. I can shake my head, they say on. Yes, success. All right, and we're done with our scarecrow. We have our button eyes and smile and little scarecrow nose. And I added in these ruffles. They're made out of raffia, so it's kind of like straw. And then of course the wig. And you can also add um, maybe a little crow friend if you wanted. I was thinking about pinning this little body up in my hair. Um, so it's like I have a little, a little friend. And then this is the look. So here you go. Super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you try it out, let me know. Um, we have one costume left. And then we're ready for some Halloween fun and trick or treats. We are on to our final costume. I'm so excited. So I have some pink body paint here. Um, the company is called Snazaru. And it tends to be the one that likes my skin the best. There's a few other ones that are pretty good, but I like this one a lot. So I'm going to take my snazaroo and a little sponge that I've dipped in just a touch of water. And we're going to just get it a little bit wet. Um, you don't want it soaking or drippy because it won't really stick to your skin, it'll just slide right off. So I'm going to get that going and then just apply all over. So I have a little tiny fluffy brush and my trusty mirror 
I'm gonna go ahead and just add some to my cheeks. Then I have this kind of fluffier brush I'm gonna blend it out with. But I want the line to be pretty harsh because the pink can kind of dull my face out. Which, you know, one solid color, of course, right? Okay, into my nose super fast. I'm gonna take a smaller brush, um, this guy here, and I'm gonna take some pink and just fill in my eyebrows. So you can totally cover up your brows first and then apply on the pink if you want to, but I like kind of doing that on top of the hairs. I think it kind of blends and looks a little bit more natural. I mean, it is Halloween, so be as unnatural as you want to be, but that's just how I tend to do it. And I'm taking a mixture of pinks, um, like a magenta and a light pink, and I'm going to give myself some shadow around the eyes. Like that. And I'm also going to take a smaller brush and do my lips. And the same thing. I'm just following the natural contour and giving it a little bit of color. So I'm going to fill this in with lipstick later, but it's kind of helpful to now where I want them to be. Here's the basic look. If you want, you could add blush on top of your, your blush, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, here's our blush. And I have a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right on my cheeks. And my nose. And my lips. Okay. Now, I have this burger <laughs> palette. Um, it's a veggie burger, technically, but it has all these really pretty greens. And so I thought I'd use some of them on my eyes just to make a little bit more drama and kind of add to the overall look. So I'm gonna take the light green first. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that all over my lids. Now I'm taking the medium green color here and then some under the eye, of course. Okay, like that. And in the excess, I'm going to use a fluffy brush and just kind of like dust off, hopefully. Like so. Okay, we're going to finish the eye makeup with some mascara, some falsies, some eyeliner, and then we're ready for the final touches. If you have a beard, you could add some black or dark pink or red to it to really make it pop and make your costume even more dramatic and ready for Halloween. The makeup is done, and now it's time for the horns next we're going to make the horns into some sculpey so i'm going to fold up my sculpey in half and make two equal sized balls and then form those into horns by making kind of long triangles and then i'm going to use a sculpting tool or you can use a toothpick and i'm adding some lines to make it look a bit more like real bone and then some small lines at the bottom then I'm going to bake these at 275 for 15 minutes until they're nice and hardened and cured. And then it's time to paint. So I'm using a similar light pink to match my skin tone and adding some darker pink at the bottom. And once they're dried, they're done. Okay, the horns are done. I'm going to glue them on like this. And I have some <laughs> kind of old glue. Um, it's called Pro's Aid, and it's made just for this type of situation. 
so I can glue it onto my forehead and it won't cause any skin reactions and it'll be super sticky and last for many hours, which is ideal. So I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and open this up. Um, it's a silicone face glue, which is skin safe and it should be really easy to apply. So I'm going to go ahead with my Q-tip and just add some of the glue to my horn and then I'm going to let it kind of dry and get tacky, um, a bit like eyelash glue. So I'm going to go ahead and add it on. So I've got a couple places kind of cleaned off. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the Prose Aid glue to those same areas which will just have everything stick on a bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer which got in my hair. That's <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, now it should dry nice and clear and tacky. Kind of like eyelash glue. And I can stick these on. It should stay nice and in place for many, many hours. So waiting for these to dry. They take probably five minutes, I would say. Um, it can be shorter, but I want them to get nice and tacky and pretty solid. That way I know that it's gonna hold up the Sculpey and stick to my head pretty well. Um, I've done this a couple of times, and each time it's lasted for at least a couple of hours. Um, I wouldn't headbutt anybody, <laughs> but outside of that, you should be pretty safe. So it's gonna wait a couple of minutes and then stick these on. Um, you can add a black lipstick, more red lipstick, but otherwise, the look is almost done. So quite easy, quite fast. Um, all you need is some body paint, some blush, and um, some Sculpey. If you don't want to do the horns, you could just be a pink or red person, a devilish person. That totally works too. This is just like a finishing extra touch. So. We'll wait for this to get tacky and oh, we're almost there. We'll be right back. So it's gonna stick my horns on. They're nice and tacky, pretty much dry. So we should see this will stick. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. On the next one. Okay. We got our horns on. And for me, I have a little vest I made a couple years back that has some spikes on it. I thought kind of added to like the devilish demon look. And if you don't want to do your entire arms, you could just wear a long sleeve shirt or like a leather jacket. Something just kind of rockerish um, with spikes and studs is <laughs> always preferred. Um, or you could do a very soft look with a lacy dress or a poet shirt. Either way works, but this is the final look. So now we're officially ready for Halloween. I've got a storm brewing. <laughs> I'm ready for some candy. I think it's time to go. Thank you so much for being out with me today and watching all the Halloween costumes. Until next time, bye-bye.